We only got two in a row on Rock B, and now we're on Slug A. Which we got one run on. You don't know how you misread that? Have fun anyway. I'd let. Well, Slug A is uh, it's a pretty good ship. It starts with dual lasers, right? Probably the best part about this ship is the fact that it just starts with dual lasers. Um, salty language says Stefan. Ah, salt. You want that salty language, huh? <laughs> what would salty language be? Just me saying anything that has to do with, you know, sodium. Um, you know, French fries. They're salty. Uh, but we are playing, uh, the Slug A today. Uh, I need to turn off pause here, I believe. Let me check here. Yeah, turn pause off here. Anti-bio beam, have fun never getting giant alien spiders event. I know, right? Well, last time our first win on this ship, we actually got a decent number of crew kills early. So that is something to go for if the opportunity presents itself. I don't focus on that on this ship because, uh, often to me, that's kind of a trap. If you take extra damage to just get a crew kill for a little extra rewards, it's often not worth it, but just the dual lasers plus breach is pretty good early on, so... an anti-bio beam is just so slow, it's one of the biggest negatives about it in my case, in my opinion, so... Here we go, hard mode, no pause. Slug A, we'll see how this goes. Um... You've been playing this the last week, this, the last three crew kills early are feasible, but the bio is such a waste... A waste later, yeah. Bio beam is, it's a meme, it's like fire beam. A few good situations, but mostly it's... Mostly it's kind of a tarp. It's not the greatest weapon. It's not flexible. Get the fire beam again, it worked once really well for me. It worked once, so I should try to get it every time. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, um, let me see here. I will breach bomb once while I do this. Hey, what's up, uh, Timex? How's it going? Pretty good. Just started our day, but going pretty well so far. We're not dead yet, so that's good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. First laser... No, first mini beam shot. Instantly sets my uh, weapons on fire. How's that for some bad RNG start? Jesus. Okay, thank god I didn't dodge both shots there. There's a chance for a crew kill here now that we got fires going, so... Uh, it's just NG repairs too fast. Okay, alright, he's going for the shields. Alright, we might, we might have a chance here. It depends on how quickly he repairs and how slowly anti-bio beam charges. Come on, come on, come on. This is going to be a close race. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. His shields were coming up right as we crew killed him. All right. Only one damage for a pretty good scrap gain. I'll take it. What's that, Fuzzy Penguin? Dull, slow, and labors, but breaching O2 seems a good way to assist crew killing. Uh, sure. Sure. I, I don't think it's a good strategy, though. It's 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 too slow, too slow and you take too much damage. Uh, Fuzzy Peng with, with for the six months, my friend. Appreciate that. It's awesome. Thank you for your continued randomness. You rock. Your phone data isn't the best, so it's a bit tough to watch. All right. Well, MJ Fumperdink, love your name. I saw that you followed recently. So. <laughs> All right. Quest marker to my map. I'm pretty sure I need level two sensors for that. Um, let me see here. So we're going to get at least one extra jump, I think, from this. So we got to be here in 12, 11, 10. Um, here in 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. I guess we just want to get as many of these jumps as we can. I'm not exactly sure how many we're going to get here. Uh, I'd take that deal if I had any drone parts. Alright, we got a store to sell slug repair gel for something, if there's anything good. Been listening to the new Obama book through Audible, very insightful, Into the Man and the Jab. Oh, okay. Interesting. I didn't know uh, he had a book out. Oh my god, free shield hack? Well, this might just be GG. This right here is so stupid. And he dodged the first shot. 
This is so stupid, man. This is this is why this game is dumb. My streak might just end right now. Oh, thank God. This is fucking stupid, man. So goddamn dumb and unfair and imbalanced. Double beam weapons with free shield hack. There's a guy on YouTube who has been um, saying that he thinks uh, the rebel fleet pursuit indicator is unfair and cheating. This is my answer to something like that. Nothing in my opinion is that cheaty when you can have shit like this happen. Sector 1, I've only gotten one fight, fights worth of scrap, and a ship has double beam weapons with a free shield hack. That's stupid. The fact that this exists is ridiculous. Oh my god. Been watching on YouTube, just made a Twitch account recently, also takes forever to type apparently, okay. Oh my god, that is dumb. We just took like seven damage from that event. I was like, why are my shields on not online? Oh, because he gets goddamn free hacking. So much for me not using salty language, man. That is stupidly unfair and imbalanced and... Grr. But you got a drone out of it, Rand. Yeah, well, I had to pay seven health for that drone. That's just really dumb. Uh, let's see. Long range scanners. Now that is good. 100% we're buying that. Are we getting anything else? Sell this. Puts us at 59. I guess I can just sell that and get the second shield. That's probably what I want to do. Could get an automated reloader, but I don't like investing in that early. An NG would be great, but I don't want to spend scrap on crew this early. Oh, man. Our our streak was almost... The reason I get so salty and stuff like that is he had one more shot in my weapons, and our streak was pretty much over. Our streak was over second run into the jump if we had gotten a little less uh, lucky with where that mini beam hit us. That's just a stupid event that I don't think should be in the game. It's so ridiculous. Sector 1 shield hack for free shouldn't exist in the game, in my opinion. Oh my god, that was... Oh, I was going to be so salty to start the day. Okay. Come join my crew. Free NG. Nice. Free NG. Okay. Alright, I need level 2 piloting before going in there if I can get it. Uh, okay, so I need 11 scrap from this next jump, hopefully. Okay. Alright, or just empty jumps. Okay. Well, if we get 11 scrap here and then get piloting, we can... Hopefully get blue option there, we'll see. Okay, attack the ship. Yeah, this is the reason why anti-biobeam is stupid. I think we fought three ships and two of them have been auto-scouts. So anti-biobeam has been literally worthless. Except for the first fight. I just, uh... If, if anti-biobeam wasn't so slow... It would not be so worthless. Or if maybe it, I don't know, had an eye on a component, but that would make it stupid OP. So, anti-bio beams just, it's, it's good for giant alien spiders, and that's about it. Hey, double reward is nice, though. Um, one, two, three. Nah, one, two, three, four. Now we can get six somehow. I don't know if I can get six. I would need this to be... If this is the fourth jump, it might be a dive. It's hard to tell. There's another reason why I don't think fle uh, the fleet pursuit indicator is broken. Because, like, you just... There's no guarantees, man. There's no guarantees. One, two, three, four, five, six... But I'm pretty sure where that's placed. I think it's a dive, but I can't tell 100%. I think I'm going to miss out on one jump to just go one, two, three, four, five. Unless that's a ship fight. If that's a ship fight. Actually, one, two, five, six. Uh, we might be able to do something here. Anti-bio beam is fun, but not the most useful. Yeah. 
All right, Burst Laser 1s. Uh, that's a more useful weapon. There's that Fire Beam somebody said I should get. Okay. Um. All right. Let me think about this here. I think I just sell the Antibio and the Breach. They both have some blue option things. But if I do that, I can get the power. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Or I can sell one of them. Which is more useful to hold on to? Probably the Breach Bomb would be more, more likely to get online next. I'm thinking I sell Anti-Bio. Get the power. So I can do this. And now we got a weapon system that's... A little more flexible. Alright, do I go 1, 2, and hope we get 3, 4, 5? And if that's a dive, we go 3, 4? Or do I just go 1, 2, 3, 4? Nah, I wouldn't be able to get... Yeah, I could do that, actually. You'd sell the beam and keep the breach at least in the next door? Yeah, I, I think that's the right play. For one thing, Breach Bomb is only one power, so it's there's a chance we actually get it online and use it. Um... That's Johnny and the Inspiders, we don't have a blue option for it anyway. Let's go here. Is there a normal length stream today? Yes. No. Well, let me let me make let me check my schedule. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything special until. Do I have a gig this week at all? I might have a gig this Friday, but I don't have anything today. Doc, rescue survivors. Four damage for seven scrap. All right. Probably not worth. Next week after Thanksgiving is when my my gigs really start, you know, coming together and happening. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one dive, three, four, and I just don't want to dive. So I think I go one, and if this is a ship fight or something, we can get, we go there and back. Yeah, I'll take that deal. Solar Flare, huh? There's a, some scrap gain worth it going to the Solar Flare, which is at least one guaranteed bit of damage from the Solar Flare. It's probably worth. It's not Pulsar, it's not Asteroid Field. Frank and St uh, Stefan got wrecked by 15 damage recently. Oh, they that's the event where they killed a ship when they were supposed to kill the crew. That's a rough one. You gotta, you gotta pay careful attention to the quest text on that one. Because if you kill the ship instead of the crew, it's 15 damage when the ship explodes. If you kill the crew, you get a good reward. If you kill the ship, whoo, that's the worst event in the game for just free hull damage. I mean, it's not free because you, you know, had to do it incorrectly, but still, that's rough. It's a bad time. Okay. I think we actually didn't take damage there. Nice. Yeah, it's like one of the most punishing events if you don't do it correctly. If they read the quest text, it would you'll you would see that they say, "Remember, don't kill them before you fight them." No good deed goes unpunished. Let's <laughs> see. That's right. All right, Zoltan controlled or Mantis controlled? Ugh, that's a pretty rough choice. Um, I can't really deal with Mantis borders that well. Um, but I guess I can go directly to doors. Try to vent them. Zoltan suckers are just the absolute, just the worst. But might find stores. I think I'm gonna go Mantis here. Yeah, we probably would get Mantis and, and Zoltan anyway, you're probably right. 
Mantis ships are usually weaker weapon-wise. That's often why I go that route, but we do have level 2 doors starting on on this ship, so... Okay, that's a nice little thing there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, all right, we have a decent route mapped out here. Get both quests, we can get the store after ship fight. Heal up a bit, maybe get some fuel. See what happens on this ship fight. Attempt to download the stores, okay. He can't do damage to us, beautiful. You know, you've never actually figured out how to mod FTL even though you spent hours trying to figure it out, but you can never find the resource or dot that thing or whatever. Uh, MJ Fumperdink, if you want to mod, most people that create modded ships use a mod called um, Super Luminal. If you're talking about you don't even know how to add mods to play with them, that is a mod called uh, Slipstream Mod Manager. Google Slipstream, S-L-I-P, Stream Mod Manager, and that's what most people use for modding FTL. That's what I use for sure. All right, fire beam. This is the second fire beam we've seen. There's missile defense. Seven, eight. We're gonna. We are like. Four scraps short of getting defense drone if I sell breach bomb to get drone control plus defense drone. What's up, Alvarin? Vanilla's still fun. Vanilla's great. And I would actually recommend playing vanilla until you've beat every ship and done everything you want to do in vanilla before you even get into modding. So. What's up, Squishy Doodle You? Um. I'd prefer to get cloaking, hacking, mind control rather than. Defense drone, but defense drone is missile defense is the thing that the most frustrating early. Just don't quite have the scrap. My plan was to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably stick with that since we have another store. Maybe we can get hacking or something there. So let me do two repair, three fuel, and we're going to hold off on spending any scrap here. Six. Slug A, that's what we're on, yep. Backup battery. Uh, backup battery's good, but I usually prefer to get backup battery after I've gotten my offense and defense in a better in a better place. We're pretty good on offense, okay on defense. I'd rather get missile defense before investing in that. Okay, we have Mantis coming over here. Where are they gonna go? In my weapons. Uh, well, it's only a single dude. Okay, we can take that. And he can't do damage to us, so... Currently not winning this fight. Let's just be safe here. Okay, good. No crew kills now that we've uh, got rid of, you know, breach bombs and... Uh, Anti-bio beam, but I still like this build better weapon-wise. You down and loaded slipstream, just get the prompts to find resources or debt. And you don't know, you just can't find it for some reason. Well, there's definitely some Google Google searches you can do for that. It's usually in your whatever, what is what is what is the FTL dot dad in? It's usually in the uh, Steam apps folder. If you'd like just do a search on your computer for Steam apps, you'll probably find it. Alright, do we want to do any upgrades before going to these quests? Nah, I just want scrap for the store. Okay. Well, okay. That's a great deal. Alright, we've got a sun there. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. The question is if I want more ship fights or another quest and, a, and one less ship fight. We're 100% always going here. How long have I been uploading on YouTube? I I don't know. I can't even remember how long I've been streaming. Squishadoo, I'm terrible at under remembering the passage of time. 
This is not my strong point. Oh man, Heavy Laser 2 is amazing. How long has YouTube existed? Well, it hasn't been that long for me that I've been uploading, but a few years? I don't remember. The sun's gonna be free boards. I put money on it. Oh, they got cloaking, they got mind control, they have a heavy laser too. There's a lot of stuff from this store I'd love to get. Probably mind control is the best choice here. Also deal with borders. Can use it offensively. Write something down in Twitch there I can see when you join Twitch. What? Oldest video on your channel is from six years ago. Really? Have I been uploading to YouTube for six years? I don't know. If, is it a, is it one of my FTL videos? Have I even been streaming that long? I don't even know. I just don't know. Okay, there. I'll type lol in chat. Um... Classical Rush Competition. I don't remember that. That was probably from before I was streaming. Um, man, I love this weapon. 65 to get it online is 35. I could buy Heavy Laser 2 and get it online. I wouldn't have the power for it. Okay. I'm going to go Mind Control, and I'm going to get power. And then I'm gonna buy fuel. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. My weapons are pretty good for right now. Mind control helps deal with the mantis borders. Two, three, where I go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, quest. I think this is an escort, so it could be a ship fight. If I go this way, I'm guaranteed to do ship fights. If this is a store, I'd have nothing to show for it or nothing to do there. I'm gonna just skip this quest to get. Guaranteed ship fights. I created the account May 2011. Cool. I'm pretty sure I created this account while Twitch was still um, Justin TV. So if that tells you how long I've been on Twitch, there you go. All right. I believe I can possibly get a crew kill here. Ugh. It's so annoying. I can't, like... If the system is dead... If it's damaged, they'll fight each other. If it's dead, they won't fight each other. I don't quite understand that mechanic. I need to do one damage to this room and then mind control him while he's trying to repair it. Uh, first FTL is NGC from four years ago. That sounds about right. Four years ago, my first uh, YouTube... FTL if YouTube uh, upload... Okay, let's see. If I do this and shoot them. Oh, this is the free weapon if I let them repair and get out. Well, probably just going to go for the crew kill. Actually, this will crew kill both of them. Yeah. All right, there we go. Sadly, no free weapon, but it's fine. Every day, it's more messages about caroling stuff. Well, I won't be answering that for like five hours, so. Five. Seven. Okay. Okay. All right, you can't do damage to me. Ah, uh, actually you can with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot these two systems and hope I can mind control somebody. Tam. Okay. That's great. All right, the mind control dude is dead. Still a fire in there. See, why use an anti-bio... No, anti-bio beam or breach bomb when all you need is... Mind control and uh, a fire, you know? There we go. That is the wrong... I did not mean to shoot that room, damn it. Please don't kill piling before I kill you. Oh, come on! 
Okay. There it is. Okay. Get wrecked. I think because mind control crew try to break systems first and foremost is why they don't fight in a broken room from what I understand. Uh, you mean from a completely destroyed room, not just a broken room. Right? Because the room has to be red, not orange. Or maybe that's what you meant when you said broken room. A completely... A completely... A zero system health room or something. Uh, it's a good thing you looked... So way back on YouTube, you are smiling in the thumbnails. Not a grain of salt in sight. <laughs> uh, that's not because I've gotten saltier over time. Uh, if you see any of my smite videos, which all of my smite videos probably predate my, my FTL videos because I was playing smite on stream before I was playing FTL on stream. You will see way more salt. One, two... System fully broken, right? Wait, Rand is salty? No way! What's up, Arkan Artist? Go go and watch any of my uh, Smite videos. I'm sure there are F-bombs all over the place. That game makes me salty like no other. Because it's PvP and I am competitive. Okay, no boarding, so we shoot shield and then we mind control. We should have a decent chance of getting... This is probably another crew kill ship, honestly. And there we go. Whoops. There we go. All right. Play Clash Royale. That will make you throw your phone against the wall, I can guarantee. <laughs> Nah, uh, mobile games don't make me that salty. Because they're... Don't feel like real games. That probably doesn't sound right. But that's not what I mean. I don't mean... I mean they don't feel like games that I... Get that invested in winning on. Double reward? Okay, free repair, not bad. Salt, salt never changes. There you go. Salt never changes. This has been a pretty good sector. We got mind control. We got a decent amount of scrap. We're hoping to get um, hacking or cloaking next is the next goal. Okay, they do have boarding. Just a single mantis border. Go for his weapons here. The bomb offline is the plan. Actually, want you to repair this once. Crapola. There we go. That should make him fight. Kill off your NG friend. Or your Mantis friend. Or whoever's gonna kill whoever. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Crew killing with the dual laser and a burst laser and a mind control. Pretty fun, man. This is why I don't do O2 crew kills. It's There's other way to crew kill. Other ways to crew kill if you have the setup for it and you're not in danger of taking damage. Killing O2 to me is like one of the slowest, worst, least efficient ways to get crew kills. Uh, to win a salt, you must become a salt. If you try to become competitive Clash Royale, trust me, the salt is real. Yeah, I'm never going to do that. Mobile games don't feel like real games. Ran 2020 shots fired. Yeah. What's up, Zoli? Salt on a slug ship, chemical warfare. That's right. Uh, you don't want to see the set the world on fire, but there is a fire beam in every store. <laughs> uh, examine the station. Empty thing. Okay. Oh man, Zoltan Homeworlds, man. I I'm pretty sure two of my streaks have ended in Zoltan sectors. At least two. But Zoltan Homeworlds is where we want to go, man. Chance for Zoltan Shield. It gives us options for jumps afterwards. We have scrap to find stores. We might just die. We do have we do have mind control to help deal with the free Zoltan borders, but this could be really bad. Zoltan Rock World, yeah. Most of the mobile games are just crash cash grabs with copy paste gameplay. Yeah, yeah. I haven't played a good a really good mobile game in a while. So we want empty jumps to start here. Prepare for boarding, yeah. 
Alright. Four shot volley, quite good against super shields, yeah. Now uh, we have NG for this, very nice. What's up, Britnoth? Call in the police, yeah. Wow. Zoltan Homeworlds, when all you want is an empty jump, and all you see are ship fights. Well, maybe this narrows down where the Zoltan Shield quest could be, hopefully. I guess I've got space for Envoy. God, please don't say that. I'm pretty sure the last time, the last two times we've gotten Zoltan Homeworlds and actually survived to get the quest completed, we have gotten Envoy. We are due a Zoltan Shield, man. All right, it's Mantis. Can't do damage to me. Single border. Of course, he dodged just enough. Go. Got it. Nice double fire. If he boards us again, that would be bad. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, my control guy died in a fire. Yo, dog, why don't you go die in a fire? That's rude. No, I want you to actually die in a fire. That's really rude. Yeah, but... Is it rude if what I'm saying is... You know, what I really hope will happen? Yeah, it's really rude. Okay. Alright, go kill each other. Not necessarily in a fire. Okay. I think he's low enough for this. Got him. You salvage a ship and contact the wise man. He sees you here. You have emerged a victorious as Alton Wiseman enters our rage. Yes. D nice double reward. All right. We have enough to get cloaking. You find it funny today we had two samples from the border police to analyze the blood alcohol. <laughs> from the actual border police in real life. That's funny. Have I ever sung Caught by the Fuzz? No, I don't know that song. Never heard of that song. They had some good dodges. They did have some pretty good doges. Thankfully, his weapons are terrible because Mantis usually have crappy weapons. All right. Empty jumps is what we're looking for. Or store. I have enough scrap to get stuff from a store. Oh, man. If he's got a defense two drone. Okay, defense one. Weapon hack. Ugh. God damn it, man. Fight each other. This will keep them from repairing the shields longer. God damn it! I hate we uh, I hate weapon hacks more than anything, man. Always the worst freaking hack. I hate this game. <sighs> this is so freaking bad. Got a fire in there. No shields. That's a fire in my doors. I can't even get the fire out. Can I get hacking offline? Yes! Get that shit out of here. Okay, that's stopping from repairing it. Good. Ooh, that was, that's a fire in the shield room. That's great. Ooh, we might get the crew kill here. Got him! Get wrecked! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. And we even get a free Zoltan? Wow. Nice. And we kill your ship. Eat that. Eat sh shiznit and die. You joik with your weapon goddamn hack. Get wrecked. Um, you hate weapon hacks? O2 hacks can also be a run-ender. O2 hacks can be bad. Um, often it's not nearly as bad as I experience, though. 
I'm still skipping ship fights because we still want to find... Uh, oh God, that's an empty jump. Uh, let's see. Is Aki betters, uh, better on doors or on helm? Always the worst. Yeah, thanks for those terrible suggestions. <sighs> I really want store, but I think the chance of Zoltan Shield is more important than the store right now. Man, I notice you are currently covering up your substance and display. Is that intentional? No. It's just anywhere I put myself... I'm going to be covering something on some game. So this is the least important thing to cover up. If I move myself here, once I get hacking or drone control, you wouldn't be able to see my drones. So I'm just, this is where I am. No matter what game I'm playing, somebody, I'm going to, something on the screen is going to be blocking something. So, all right. All right, Zelton Shield, please, please. Please shield. Please shield. You're 12 seconds or so behind on the video. Okay. Hail them. Reconciliation of our deals without war. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. And please no envoy. Please no envoy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, my friends. We have a run on our hands. This is so good. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, might be a dive, but if I get a store and get cloaking, we are looking great. Could bounce the cam like the DVD logo, just have it go all the way around the screen. <laughs> Could do that, it's true. Could I make myself partially transparent, Kappa? I don't know, I'm probably. You have a damn missile. Damn it, missile. All right, normally don't use my control on piloting. Nice. Missile offline. Perfect. Okay. We're getting one shot through. I'll take it. Wow. They're dodging just enough for us to hit once every time. All right, FTL. Let's, let's be a little less shitty, please. There it is. His old shield is gone. No missiles, good. Uh, five fuel is pretty good deal, but nah, I want more scrap. Can I crew kill this? Nah, it's, it's, ship health is too low now. Have I not gotten any weapon training so far, by the way? Gotta be close. Yes, no salt today. Oh, I'm sure there will be, Netta. Um, we don't even need to see the game. Just the view of Rand's face. <laughs> don't worry. Where there's Rand, there's salt. Five boys got it right. Okay. All right. 199 scrap. This is most likely a dive sector. I'm doing this in hopes for a blue option or free scrap with human borders. Okay. Secure the fuel supply. Cloaking. <sighs> Do you have all your weapons online? God damn it, game. All right, we have Zoltan Shield. Zoltan Shield makes this better, but man, this guy's freaking strong as hell. No weapons for you, you dirtbag. You're freaking strong as hell. I think I can get two shots off with how fast these weapons fire. Hope uh, and I'm wrong. Oh, but you got no doges. You, sir, you got no doges. Nice. Hmm, not gonna be in time. Let's wait it out. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Repaired that right as that came out there. Oh, come on, man. Ugh. Yes, we even got the crew kill. Get wrecked. Six fuel. Nice. Very nice. 
Please make a deal so you get at the end 69 scrap. I don't care about stupid stuff like that, but okay, squish a doodly doo. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yes, because that's what's important. That's what's important. A random deal to give a 69 scrap. Alright, now we have an extra power. I could get this Breach Bomb online. We want to see what the store, uh, if we can find a store, though. We want a weapon upgrade, or we want... Hacking or cloaking. A 69 happens in FTL without trying. It's hard-coded into the game. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right, what if they had cloaking and hacking in the store? That's why I haven't spent scrap on this bomb. What if there's a store right here with cloaking and hacking? The only place we wouldn't be able to get a store would be here. One, two, three, four. And actually, we're not diving here, it looks like, so that's nice. It's like Gandhi building only nukes and civilization. Okay. Ion plus halberd beam, okay. You're basing that from probably a thousand hours of combined viewing and playing. Nice. All right, well, he's dodged 50% of our shots so far, and we dodged zero. Just only had one shot. Damn. Okay, this is bad. This is... This next shot's gonna hit. Oh, that's a good... That's a great dodge. That just saved us damage. With nobody on piloting, except the mind control dude... He just dodged 50% of our damn shots. This game is stupid, man. Nobody on piloting, essentially. Ugh, this dumb game. Value point and shields with Zoltan shield. Okay, uh, looks like we're getting a crew kill here. Anti-bio beam is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's fun, but mostly worthless, secret agent. Uh, hello all, I see you've already gotten rid of the anti-bio beam. Yeah, we're in sector three. I got rid of it in sector one because it's terrible weapon. You do want to say the colors of combined Zoltan and normal shields looks lovely. Okay. All right, well, no store. So let's go ahead and do weapon upgrade, engine upgrade, power. But it's fun though, sure. If I was not doing a hard mode, no pause, challenge streak, maybe I'd consider fun rather than optimal in my play choices. Thank you for the 69 bits, Contasul. But sadly, we are not playing for fun. We're playing, well, we are always playing for fun, but we are playing for winning more than we're playing for funning. All right, this guy can't do damage to us. Can be handy in Sector 1 if you get lucky. Yeah, Sector 1 is like the one place where you'll have a decent shot of maybe getting some crew kills with uh, anti-bio beam. We didn't get any of that today. We have gotten a decent number of crew kills, but we didn't get any of them with the anti-bio beam. Uh, we might have gotten one with the anti-bio beam, actually. Okay. Alright, kill your friends. Kill the heal base so they can't heal themselves. Ah. How did they... What? Okay. No healing the heal bay. No repairing that. We've gotten more crew kills with dual lasers and burst laser one this run, I think, than I did with anti-bio beam in our first run of this ship. It's crazy. Um, good for Kazak if you have no other way to crew kill and have some blue options. There are so many better ways to crew kill than the anti-bio beam. I am not creative. You need to be more creative. There's a pun on your name. And uh, crew kill with just lasers and mind control. Lasers and mind control is a hundred times better. Uh, maybe not a hundred times better. Way better than uh, anti-bio beam for crew kills. 
Being able to control with the crew goes with mind control is so much better. Lockdown bomb can actually be very good if you have a good boarding setup. Sure. Okay. Oh, thank God for that dodge. Do, do, do. <laughs> they were getting better crew kills with frickin' lasers than we are when we we would with uh, anti bio beam of course breach bomb is helping us right now <laughs> all right free weapon anti bio beams pretty much always crap unless you get lucky with the vulnerable sector one ships when you have a free one yeah what's up Duminium twitch the other thing you have to keep in mind with anti bio beam for all these it's useful here is it's absolutely completely worthless against any auto scout and that's a big issue with a weapon to be worthless against a certain a single type of ship you're a big fan of engine upgrades in this position but maybe a weapon upgrade is coming necessary oh uh, well, i just did engine and a weapon upgrade i'm still looking for two more systems so we're going engine controlled are we i don't even have sensors for a kazak yeah we're going engine controlled because all we want right now is cloaking and hacking that's all we want. Problem is it's so damn slow to kill anybody and can't help take down shields. Yeah, anti-bio beam is way slower. If it was faster, I feel like it'd be way less crappy. Three engines is your happy place. <laughs> Jerry Lurkin, Tyler. So I dish the anti-bio beam for fire beam. It can do system damage on autos on occasion. <laughs> oh, you just love to give terrible ideas, Alvarin. Like most people in chat. I will say Fire Beam is more useful than Anti Bio Beam, but not for the reason you said, of course. Wow, none of the systems I want. Don't want any of these weapons. I really don't want any of these weapons either. I mean, backup battery I do want. Um, but it's neither of the two important ones. It's technically the truth, the best kind of truth. Is there any mod that has a breach beam? Oh, there's plenty. I am not creative, yeah. Please don't tell me what to do, Squishy Doodle You. Uh, for some reason, engines are your favorite thing to upgrade personally, of course, on Horde. No pause. You need to use your scrap better. Or... No, engine upgrades are great. I like backup battery more than sensors here, though. If this door had cloaking and hacking, 180. I mean, 150 plus 80 is 230, right? Is that right? 850 plus 80 is 230. I'd be able to sell like Breach Bomb or something for one of those two. Okay. I'm going to not get sensors yet. 230. Okay. Wow. Everybody's telling me. Okay. So I could sell breach, breach Bomb for hacking, which would be a worthwhile trade. If this jump was empty, which I was expecting it to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can still get all of our jumps if we do this one before the store. Let's do that. Engine upgrades are great because effing missiles. Yeah, but you know what's better than an engine upgrade? Is cloaking or defense drone. So that's what I'm hoping to find. That is what I'm hoping to find. Because effing missiles, man. Again, piloting mind control. Goddamn worthless, man. Goddamn worthless. Come on, we gotta get this missile offline. Okay, we have one Zoltan shield just enough. Thank God. Congratulations on your million percent dodge, you piece of shit. Come on, game. Come on, come on, come on. There it is, there it is. No repairs for you. I'd use so many 
missiles just to get through three shields, man. I gotta conserve missiles now if I can. We need this door to have hacking or a good weapon. Good weapon being, you know, not another missile weapon. Black 2 is actually kind of an interesting choice in that previous store. All right, we have enough for the two systems we want. Is drone control or teleporter better in general? That's very situational. I am not creative. Very situational. Charge 2 is interesting. Cloaking and hacking. Yes! That is why I saved my scrap. All of the OP systems. We got the max O penis. Bam. Um, Flak is obviously the best option. Not Flak 2, though. Aaron, how do you feel about cheesing crew training by going AFK against a ship that can't penetrate your shield? It's fine. It's boring for streaming, so I hardly ever do it, Secret Agent, but it's, it's a great strategy if you don't care about how long your run takes. I re recommend it, honestly. All right, Breach Bomb. I think I'm going to sell Breach Bomb to get level 2 hacking. Am I? Eh. Breach Bomb still has a little bit of value. I don't need to do it yet. What's bad about Flak 2? It's charge time. Way too slow. Yes, free stuff. That gets me the level 2 hacking I need. Very nice. <sighs> Another burst laser one. Was there one for sale? No. Hacking and cloaking was definitely the buy. 100%. We got all our systems. Our weapons aren't insane. But. Um, we now have the Masala maneuver. Which doesn't matter because they dodge 100% of our shots. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, good. For those who don't know, Masala Maneuver is mind controlling and hacking the weapon system. So they can't get too very many shots off. I was going to say any shots, but they get very few shots off. Put them in there to kill their friend. Um, no fire? I'd love a fire right now. Nope, okay. Well, no crew kill. Unless I use a bunch of bombs, which I don't really want to do. That's when you start a second instance and run two FTLs at once. Lol. Ah, uh, what? When you're doing your training? You know you could open a second instance of FTL. I don't know how to do that. Is it better than hacking stun? What? Because hacking stun is one of the worst dogments in the game, in my opinion. I think hacking stun's a terrible argument. Argument? Uh, augment. <laughs> it's a terrible argument. You tend to just grab a pop and take a bio break. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's definitely a thing you can do for sure. No missiles, and you can't repair your missiles. Get wrecked. Now you want chi chicken tikka masala. I had that for dinner last week. It was good. But I can only have it like once every couple of months because my stomach doesn't always agree with curry very much. Okay. You have amazing dodges, sir. There we go. Man, what's your favorite setup, and for what reason is it your most favorite? Um, it's tough to say favorite, because does favorite mean most effective, most consistent, most fun to play? I would have different answers for all of those. Probably my favorite, as in most fun to play, would be a four-man Mantis boarding build with mind control. Just because that's fun to me, to destroy everybody with four fully trained Mantis boarders. Most effective is probably something like 
pre-ignited double flak one halberd beam with hacking and cloaking or something like that. But there's too many different options to perfectly answer your question. One, two, three, four. All right, let's get let's get an extra engine. Engines are really good with you know backup battery. I mean, uh, what am I trying to say? Engines are really good with Zoltan Shield. That's the thing. That's the ticket. Is there a genuine use case for the hacking stun with O2 depletion strats? Uh, I don't know about O2 depletion strats. It would have to be probably with Lanius boarding strats, honestly. Most likely the only way uh, hacking stone be good is if would be, which is, you know, it does go with what you say. It's, it's auction depletion, but it's more like stunning them in that room. And the only, you know, consistent way I know of to actually get some decent auction depletion is with Lanius boarding. Breaching is not often very consistent, in my experience anyway. Takes a lot of time and finagling. Scooba dooba doop 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 doop. Let's go heal you dudes up. We're hacking a room with a fire in it, but if the hack room has a fire, they aren't going to go out anyway. Yeah, it's like it has to be like hacking stun in conjunction with something happening in that room, like a fire or a breach. And if there's a fire or breach, they're already locked in the room anyway. How much good does hacking stun do you? That's why I think boarding with Lanius is boarding with Lanius is the only viable thing because then at least the Lanius are draining the room while your Lanius are stunned. If your crew didn't get stunned, it'd be better. But your crew gets stunned, so hacking stun is pretty much the worst augment in the game. One of them. Do Lanius ships have O2? Uh, Lanius enemy ships do not. All right. Do I want a fully trained NG or do I? This is just a bunch of free scrap. I think I just do this. Oh, and it's a. Re yeah, okay. It's a repair and it's. Yeah, that's great. That's the right choice, I think. A dolphin chemist would fire up another quick game while training skills on stream. I don't even know how you fire up a second instance of FTL. I don't know how you do that. Um. Uh, Guys, it's a roguelike. Favorite is only right on one situation, not at all. Yeah, I think what you're saying is every run is different, basically, and I 100% agree with that. Imagine FTL become famous and they would actually update it again. I, I think F FTL is famous, but I don't think it's ever going to be famous enough for what you're hoping for. Nice. Uh, oh, you meant a different game, not a second FTL instance. Oh, okay. So he would fire up another game and play while training. Uh, I don't like to mix my games. It's like I don't like to... When I used to drink soda, I didn't like to mix my sodas. I like to focus on one thing. You can force the game to save into its own folder. You do that to run three different instances of the game. Interesting. FTL is famous already. It's just finished. Right, yeah. Double reward? Nice. Free scrap and repair for that event depends on how many points you have in hacking. Right. Well, level two is improved version, so I was I didn't remember the free repair part of that event. Okay. Scrap some of the debris. The other one can lose crew. All right, that was a great NG sector. Uh, wow, these are completely mirrored. This is I don't think I've ever seen this. Two same sector choices, and then the exact... Okay, this would have to be green for it to be exactly mirrored. For a second there, I thought that was exactly mirrored. Not quite. Uh, let's go here. I guess we'll have a choice of green sectors, possibly. Don't mix sodas. First, it's pop, not soda. Second, broke is the best. <laughs> Sprite Coke. Okay, <laughs> sure. All right. Well, I don't drink sodas or pop or whatever you call it anymore because it's like the worst possible thing you can drink besides like bleach or something, but yeah. 
You call a water fountain a bubbler. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to try to not use hacking here. Might have to still hack. Beautiful. This we're going to let hit because we have Zelda Shield. Beautiful. Ooh, those doges though. Please don't get out. Okay, I might have to actually hack his piloting. No surrender. Let me see if we get this down. We did. Beautiful. FTL is a very good balance game, except for hacking is a bit too strong. Maybe better for one hacking point for one shield. Uh, I wouldn't say... I would probably disagree with a lot of what you're saying there, Do Dominium Twitch. It depends, by what you, it depends on what you mean by balanced. Because FTL is an extremely punishing game, which means unbalanced in favor of the, um, the AI, in my opinion. Uh, they call it a bubbler in Rhode Island. I've never heard that. On Linux or Macs, you could even use containers as a lightweight virtualization for multiple instances of FTL. Great. Good to know. All right, we're going to get third shield here. Hacking stun has one use case at best. It's still better than advanced FTL navigation. Um, no, I'd say advanced FTL navigation is more likely to be useful than advanced uh, than hacking stun. Hundred percent. If I had to choose between the two, pretty sure I would always choose advanced FTL navigation. I, f I foresee more times when that's useful than the other. How did we not pull the any? Pilot here? What the hell? There are times when you get bad jump uh, choices and you end up wanting to go back for a store or something. I, I never use hacking stun. Uh, yeah, advanced FTL navigation can be good can deep dive safely uh, in the... I feel like it's most useful applications, probably Sector 8. If you end up going away, you don't want to go to get something. You watch a lot of my videos, you can't remember me using either. It's true, I they're both low on the totem pole, but advanced navigation, I think, is above hacking stun in usefulness on the totem pole. All right. Uh, oh, crap. I can't go this way. Got nothing to connect over here. Augments are like that. Pre-igniters make glay beams OP. By totem, do you mean tier list? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> you have insane... This guy's got three S tier weapons. One being double S tier. Holy weapons, Batman. If I had this guy's weapon system, holy crap. Nice. Only six missiles left. Hackingston screwed you once on a boarding run because you forgot you got it. <laughs> Would I make an augment tier list? Maybe someday, Benny G. That's not the top of my to-do list currently, but I probably will at some point. It would be pretty quick to make, because there's not nearly as many augments as there are ships or weapons and stuff. Um, that would be interesting to watch, like chess players m playing multiple games at once, but instead it's Rand playing multiple FTL games at once. Oh my gosh. Multiple ways to get salty at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we can get all these jumps. Yeah, I think that's actually the best way to go here. I just have three S tier weapons and dealing no damage. <laughs> well, imagine you have cloaking, hacking, and mind control. I mean, we're stupid OP. 
Four, uh, to put me down to 14 drone parts and six missiles and five fuel. I'll take it. Because we have two stores coming up. That's why I took that deal. Multiple games, no pause. Oh my god. You sorry you opened this ugly can of worms? Which can of worms did you open? Was it the one about multiple games or whatever? Multiple things at once? Okay, so I don't care about that. I think I'm pretty much done with this. Heavy laser is an amazing replacement for it. Um, we need to buy all the fuel. I don't know that I care about a whole laser one. Um, if I get sensors and the next door had a flak, I would not be able to afford it. Uh, imagine relying on ion bomb to get past phase three sold and shield and phase two drops a free bypass. Okay. So like an augment tier list would be based on personal experiences and situational runs. That's how all of my tier lists are <laughs> based on. <laughs> What's up, Biohazard? Congrats on pulling out the victory. Oh, thanks. That was definitely a challenging run. Uh, if all you have is Iron Bomb, you can't deal damage anyway, so you can still drop the shield. All right. Um, I'm going to hold off on sensors again because what if Flak? You got to always ask yourself, what would Flak do? It would buy itself. And that's what Flak would do. Oh, can I go one, two, three, four, five? I can do that. Okay. Or we're committing to a certain way to go, but more scrap before the store is always what you want, and I don't lose any jumps. Okay. Screw sensors. Well, sensors are useful, but I'd rather have weapon upgrades right now, so. Buy me daddy, Flak1 2020. Yes, sounds like something Flak would say. Oh wait, I don't have that thing anymore. All right, we gotta wait for his cloaking here. Did I hack his piloting? Why did I do that? Well, I didn't mean to. It actually worked out really well, but Actually, didn't mean to do that. When did I even do that? I'm losing my mind, everybody. I don't remember making plays that I've made. I was trying to save a drone part, but we're fine on drone parts. So it's fine. Flak would flak everyone up. That is what Flak would do. Since normally FTL is bound to Steam, I doubt you can run multiple instances in Docker container unless it's copy from GOG or something. Yeah, probably not. You no, know, it never happened, Rand. Not buying an advanced Flak. There's so many double negatives and in and wrong things with that statement, I don't even know how to respond. I think I may have meant to mind control the pilot and I hacked it instead. That's probably what happened. Um, all right, this store, I mean, small bomb's good, but I just sold a bomb and ion center's not that great with what we have. So I think I just buy sensors and fuel here. And, um, I mean, I guess there's a small chance for another store. No, I know that this is not because we've already seen that jump. So, what do we want to do here? Maybe heal bay upgrade for possible blue options? There's nothing else I really need right now just to save scrap and get a better weapon. Our, our build is so good, we just need better weapons. So we might have the luxury to actually do what Rudy always wants me to do and upgrade... Systems I don't often do for blue options. Uh, FTL is working on your personal adaptability. What am I saying? Ion Center is amazing with what I have. Really? I guess I could see it if we hit shields and then stun them in fires and stuff. The reason I don't love it is... It's not a flak or a heavy laser or a burst laser. Right now we have a lot of, we already have a lot of fast, low power weapons. I want something with a little more punch in it. You can use it on weapons. What's the upgrade for weapons cost? 50. I wouldn't be able to get it online right now. Do I really want to invest in something I'm not going to be able to get online right now?
What sector are we in? Five. We're going into sector six. I, I honestly don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's good enough. If Flack one was a person, it would be like Hodor from Game of Thrones. Pretty strong, but only say Flack. Okay. You've been convinced that long-range scanner negates the benefits from sensors mostly, yeah. Good. I'm glad glad we can agree on that. Is there such a thing as an ion burst weapon? You don't play this game, and I don't watch enough to know yet. Mm, well, the closest thing is probably the charge ion. Okay, we still have a thing up for that. Come on. go yeah charge iron is the closest and it's not really the same can we actually crew kill this i think we can uh yes we can <laughs> nice i cannot believe how many crew kills we've gotten with dual laser and burst laser one this run that's crazy is there such a thing as oh, okay yeah um, I mean, I think Island Stunner wasn't a bad buy there, but I don't really want a one power weapon that doesn't do whole damage. Island Stunner is pretty good. I can see it be useful for stunning people in fires and things. I'm not sure about shooting it at weapons, but I just don't find that it's valuable enough. With our build, hacking gets through shields anyway. Ion, I just, I don't, I don't find Ion Stunner good enough right now. If I don't find any other weapons, it was a mistake to skip it of course but I'm not counting on us not being able to find another good weapon in two more sectors of stores Ion Blast and Stun are both pretty cheap which is a plus they're cheap and um, I don't Ion Blast is cheap and low power which makes it pretty good early game late game it can be okay I just don't like to use one of my weapon slots on a weapon that to me doesn't scale super well. Try to not use hacking here. Hopefully I don't I'm not too greedy with this. Damn. Really good dodges there. Come on, man. What are these fucking dodges? Especially when I had your mind controlled for the first one. Come on, game. Give me a break with this. Whew. Whew. God, he almost did a lot of damage to me there. God, we were so close to taking damage there a bunch of times and then took no damage. That was kind of insane. Destroy the ship and kill the crew at the same time, yeah. I feel like ion weapons are mostly good for one, taking down shields early game, and two, training weapons. Uh, there are builds where stacking ions can be very good. This is not one of those builds. Another reason why I didn't choose to take the ion stunner. Usually I only like ions when I'm stacking them. Next two, no one seems to like using ion weapons throughout the game. Well, they're just, they're just, they're situational. They're not as flexible as flax and burst laser twos and heavy lasers. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 I mean, look at how quickly we're killing ships with this build. We don't really need an ion that's not adding too much currently, and I'm hoping to find something better. Please don't do free hull damage. Yeah, it was only two. All right. Center's a bit too slow, and that's why it loses its usability on late game, in your opinion? Ah, it's ten seconds. I don't find it that slow. It's one of the faster weapons in the game. Iron is better than a laser hitting weapons in some situations. What are the situations for that? If they have like a fully spun up Vulcan or something? Yeah, I don't agree that Ion Center is slow. I. What are your situations where you find ion hitting weapons being better than a laser, Britnoth? I'm curious. I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm just curious what your reasoning is behind that. 
facing double burst twos. I guess if you hit it once with the laser, so one was down, and then you ion, the second one would go down. I guess I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Pretty situational, but there are probably situations where that arises. Um, kind of dependent on you have hacking, I guess, to get the shields down. So you get through the shields with your lasers or something, but I could see that. It's not slow, but it's slower than Ion Blast 1. Yeah, but the stun on it makes it more valuable than Ion Blast 1. But they're both not my favorite weapons anyway, so... Strong enough to destroy you! Alright. Uh, we probably go for that. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Add in the Ion Stunner's guaranteed five second stun to delay repairs. Firefighting makes it pretty good. Yeah, I could see that. And here's kind of the reason I didn't buy it, because I was counting on us finding something better, and I would definitely call Burst Laser 2 better. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I do... Uh, why did I do that? I guess because I could do this if I wanted to. I think I like Heavy Laser over Burst Laser 1. I would need one more thing there. Just find a Burst Laser 2! <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there's no guarantee that that was going to happen, though. So, again, I don't think... I don't think... I think... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I, I think Bridnoth makes a good case for Ion Stunner. I just didn't... If we were, like, in Sector 7 and I hadn't found any other weapons, I might have considered it more seriously. But we were only in Sector 5. We had two more sectors to find a good weapon. So... Or like uh, Pie Boy says... Just get a flak, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that if we want to get these two jumps. Eh, I think we have more flexibility if we go directly to the quest. There's going to be another fight after that too, right? We just survive and don't take damage versus him. This is the top ten ship. Uh, is it a top ten ship for me? We're in the C tier right now, right? For me, this is not in the top 10, but maybe it should be higher. We'll see how far, how many wins we get on this ship, I guess. All right, his weapons aren't super good, so I'm gonna try to not use hacking here. Nice. What's overall the best single weapon in my opinion? Um. I, I don't I don't like definitive statements like that because I there's probably not a single best weapon in the game. I mean the top of my tier list is Halberd Beam and uh, Advanced Flak, and only Halberd Beam is viable, so you could probably make an argument that the single best weapon is Halberd Beam. But again, I there's not a single best anything in FTL. There are just things that are better in certain situations than others. Even pre-ignited glade beam sounds amazing, but if you don't have any way to get through shields, it's useless. So, you know, it's, it's it's situational. There's not a single best anything. There might be a single best augment in long-range scanners. But, again, situationally, there's probably times when that's not true, so. Mini beam better than halberd beam. Completely disagree with that, but, you know, a lot of people value mini beam higher than I do. Best one is definitely Burst Laser 2, Flak 1, and Halberd Beam. See, I, I don't think you probably have enough experience in FTL to make a definitive statement like that. You can say it, but I don't think you could logically back it up. Uh, in every single situation. Most like, most probably not by 2, bow, two Halberd on no pause versus 2 Burst 2. In your book, Burst Laser 2 is really high up there. Yeah. Burst Laser 2 is really good. I, I, I don't understand Britnoth and other people's assertion that, um... They must have own shield bypass. That, um... Mini Beam is so insanely good as they, as they say. I think it's good, I just don't think it's better than Halberd Beam good.
I think it's very good. I just don't think it's better than Halberd being good. For the sole reason that it just doesn't do as much damage as the Halberd Beam on the boss fight. Um, Fuel Bomb overpowered at sucking. Best weapon is four-person teleporter, huh? Okay. The best weapon is not a weapon, huh? Mini Beam is good in sectors one and two. When you don't have defense, Halberd might be more damage, but you have to wait. So you're saying Mini Beam is better early game. I could agree with that. But I don't think overall it's just better than Halberd Beam. Imagine Zoldnay with Zoldan Shield waiting for the Halberd to fire. First Laser 2 is basically Flak 1, but with a slightly longer charge time and more accurate. Okay, I would say Mini Beam is a sleeper. That's much better than it looks at first glance. Well, I, I'm not saying Mini Beam is bad. I think it's one of the best weapons in the game. I don't think it's better than Halberd Beam, and you can't buy it. Those are two things that I am pretty heavily invested in opinionating. I can't even talk right now. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think I want to get the power so I can do this. I am going to get level 3 hacking. What if 4 shields? With pods, you can have very good and cheap damage generation. Early game is when it matters most. Uh, that's an argument I could see. Yeah, early game is probably more important. Um, but I still the f I don't know. I have a hard time putting a weapon above another weapon on tier list when it is an unviable weapon, if that makes sense. Damn it, I don't want him to board me. Damn it, I just pulled the pilot and that's what I needed to not happen. Did I not mind controlled you? I'm pretty sure I mind controlled you. Don't kill me. Don't you frickin' kill me. Holy crap. Jesus. Could you guys leave, maybe? Could you stop repairing your shit, please? God damn it, man. Stupid event. So dumb. Look at this guy's weapons. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight power and weapons? Could you leave? Could you get the hell out of here? Thank you. Thank you. Jesus Christ, what a stupid event that is. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I want the store? 51 scrap. Yeah, I could sell Burst Laser 1 for a flak. Best purchasable weapon is a different question. Yeah. Mm, possibly. But my my tier list, I kind of took that into account. Hey, what's up, Faith? How's it goes, the salt? Uh, it's pretty good. Not too bad today. At least the starting of the run's not too bad. Uh, is a pre-ignited glade beam better than a pre-ignited halberd beam? Uh, it depends on the situation. If you're waiting on hacking, I would say Glade Beam is better. Uh, but again, kind of situational. And what other weapons you have with it? You know, it's a situational thing almost all the time. Would it be worth hacking Teleporter instead on this event? Maybe, but I don't know. No, it's just an annoying event. The fact that you have to... They board you, have insane weapons, you have to survive until they leave, but they will not leave while they're repairing their shit. So in order to stop yourself from taking damage, you know what the best tack there would probably would have been weapons, honestly. I probably should just tack weapons so that I wouldn't have taken damage while they just charge and run away. Do I want clone bay? You know what? This might be a time when I just have to buy crew, honestly. Unbuyable weapon tier is integral with the ship's tier. Okay. All weapon related questions are situational. Pretty much, yeah. Hack piling so they can't leave the room. Yeah, maybe that's the best hack. I don't know. <sighs> a 
I'm thinking about selling Burst Laser 1 to buy a crew right now. Only four crew going into Sector 7 is not looking good. I don't want to sell long range scanners, and of course, we're not selling Zoltan Shield. This is our worst weapon. Do that or buy clone bait to protect me from losing crew. I don't like making the clone bay buy, but we almost just lost crew, so the clone bay might be a safer option. While you're browsing rocks, there's a human in that store. <laughs> Uh, Ram, by the way, I'm not sure if you intentionally don't do it, but you can press X, then Z. Yes, I, I understand that, and I do it. I do do it. You probably just don't see when I do it. I don't do it all the time. I often am controlling doors specifically to do things, but I guess you're saying do this, right? Yes, I know about that. If I'm, if I'm not in a place where I need to use that micro, I don't do it. Uh... What sector are we in? I think I'm actually gonna buy clone bay here. I often advocate not doing this because it's kind of a side grade, but because we have so low crew and losing crew is kind of devastating for us right now, I'm actually gonna do this to help protect our crew. I don't love that choice. What are the rules of the tier streak? Uh, type exclamation point tier list. You will see a list of ships. Well, you'll see a tier list of weapons on the first page. Second page is a list of ships that Hamlo suggested we go up the list testing it by playing them and see how many wins we can get in a row. I amended that to be playing every ship hard mode, no pause, starting at the bottom, going up the list to see how accurate my tier list based is based on how our streak goes. So it's basically uh, how accurate is my tier list based on the RNG of a bunch of random runs. So it's not going to be any scientific, you know, measuring of how accurate the list is. But it's kind of a fun challenge or salty challenge to do to see, see how these hard mode no pause streaks go. We're just trying to get as many wins in a row as we can. Wow, this run is really strong though. Two, three, four. Okay. I'm really just trying to get another weapon online right now. Didn't know that replacing a system keeps the upgrade pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that applies to is Heal Bay and Clone Bay because the only systems that replace each other. But yes, it does. You're surprised you didn't put Crystal B at the top of the list. I'm pretty sure it's pretty high on the list. But I think I, I put a couple ships lower than I wanted to because they didn't have any way to kill auto scouts uh, early game. And I'm pretty sure Crystal... B, I don't consider Crystal Vengeance as a viable way of killing auto scouts, so. Um, I think that's why I put it lower than I might have otherwise placed it. Yeah, it's auto scouts, that's exactly why. Yeah. Like, my favorite ship, even though I made that list, my favorite ship is probably still Mantis B. I love Mantis B, but... I don't think objectively I can say it's better than a lot of the ships I put above it because it even can kill auto scouts so I think I put it higher than the crystal B because of that because just because of the fact that it's got um, uh, a boarding drone that can kill auto scouts wow they're all repairing that shield room yeah, it's still high on the tier list. I think it's probably... I don't know, I can't remember if I put it above Mantis B or not, honestly. I don't remember a lot of the details of it, because I made it months ago. Attack the surviving Mantis. You do not have one of your weapons powered, which is an interesting choice, but okay. Try to not use hacking, see how well this goes. Nice. Why do you not have this weapon that powered? What? What has to happen in the rolling of their ship that they don't have a weapon powered? I would understand that if there was a Zoltan and like that screwed up their power placement, but I don't understand why they just don't even have the weapon powered. 
can in fact board auto scouts with starting crystal B though. Yes, you can board them, but you can't kill them without losing crew. And that's that's the thing. You can't get any scrap from it. And that's the most important, one of the more important things. Early game scrap, just like early game mini beam power, that Brithnoth was alluding to is the important thing. If you cannot kill auto scouts, you can't get scrap from them. Therefore, that ship is weaker early game, potentially. Is order within a tier significant? Yes, I believe I, I ordered things inside of the tier based on how I thought they they stacked up against each other. All right, so all we got from that event was rock plating. Yeah, that's a good deal. Rock Homeworld's event is terrible. Well, we know where we're not going. No thanks, Zoltan Controlled. No thanks. All right, if there's not an early store... I was going to say, if there's not an early store, I'm buying web. I'm going to get this weapon online, but... I'm going to use 41 scrap. I think we're strong enough to do this without doing that upgrade. I mean, we have freaking hacking and cloaking and mind control, so... I'm open for a flak or another heavy laser or something from this next door. Get double missile weapons, so I'll 100% use hacking here. Well, that was insane. What did he hack? What did he hack? This is really bad. Could you stop fucking dodging everything, game? Come on, give me a break from this shit. Oh my god. I've not gotten any offense offline because of these stupid dodges. I'm taking that deal. Get me the hell out of here, man. What a shitty fight that was. Was that double combat drones in an asteroid field? Holy crap, that was stupid. What's on fire? Is it their ship or my ship? It's their ship. Jesus Christ, that was insane. Double combat drones in a goddamn asteroid field. Talk about a bullshit build that guy had. My god. How many breaches do I have? Okay, good. Yeah, well, I know. That's why I, that's why I said... I think I'm strong enough to do one fight before a store, because you never know on FDL. You could run into stupid shit like this. If he'd hacked my shields, there's a very real chance I died right there. If he hacked my shields with that stupid shit right there, that's insane. Surprise Crystal B is at the bottom of tier A then. Well, Secret Agent, if you really want to know why I placed everything where I placed them, just there's the video on YouTube of me making that tier list. I would recommend you watch that and you'll see the reasoning behind things. I don't remember all of my reasonings. You'd have to watch the video. You hear me about auto scouts. You think overall you still get more scrap in early sectors with Crystal B and Mantis B than Kestrel AB due to all the crew kills. Okay. All right. We might have actually been saved some damage with the rock hole plating, but I don't really care about that augment. When it rains, it pours asteroids. That's right. All right, we're buying a rock crew here. Do I like any of these over the Burst Laser 1? I don't think so. I think we just get Burst Laser 1 online. There's not another store, so we go this. Go power. Okay. Yeah, because I honestly, Secret Agent, I, I don't remember all of the reasonings I put behind all of my placements. So it's... I can't even have a good discussion with you about why I put them where I did. I, we, there was a whole, like, three-hour video or something when we did that list. Starting with weapons and then the, the ships, so... Wouldn't mind getting this Mantis too, but I'd have to sell something for it. Okay. You have a lot of lasers, sir. That's okay. We have cloaking and hacking. All right. We're going to go for the crew kill here. Um... 
Although I'm not sure why you just moved in here. I'm so confused. Alright, uh, they're fighting in a fire. This guy should die, and then maybe I can crew kill this guy. Yeah. Um, always, I always do this because it's guaranteed scrap, where this is just possible scrap. I always take that because it's guaranteed scrap. The video's not sticky though, right? I think it's in one of my playlists. I think it's like stream highlights. I don't remember. I'd have to find it. There might be a link in... I should probably add the link to the YouTube video in the tier list command, honestly. So that's my bad. I'll try to remember to do that. It does make me want to try you to try Stealth A again, though. The Stealth ships are interesting because they require a lot of skill, but they can absolutely kick prodigious butt if you have that skill. Yeah. And the reason that uh, Stealth A is the best one is because it's weapons. Fast, strong weapons, early game, just make for a really, really strong ship. I mean, it has Britnoth's better than Halberd Beam mini beam, and it's because of early game power that he ranked it there. So, Oof, get one shot, bro. It's because of its strength early game that he rates it so highly. So, and I do not begrudge that. Wow, this is some doging, man. Let's get one weapon offline, I guess. Can I crew kill this? Nah. Too low on health already. Does each ship have a hump, i.e. for stealth beat, the hump is shields? I, I don't I don't know. Every ship has its positives and negatives, if that's what you mean by hump, then sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, I think we could do. Ah, Alvarin's, Alvarin's got the list. Thank you, Alvarin. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to try to hopefully remember to uh, add that to the command later. So there it is. Dread Pi Pirate Tuco. Oh, no, not Tuco. <laughs> All right, four shield Tuco. do 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 Didn't even one shot of shields. Didn't get a fire or a breach. Let that hit. Did not get his missile offline. That's eh, fine. We have cloaking. It's fine. And you're dead anyway. And it's gone. Mini beam is not missable. Three to four damage. You'd agree on the strength early on. Yeah, it's a great weapon. Uh, I mean, what the major issue the ship has in early sectors once past the run becomes sig significantly easier. Easier. Are you talking about Stealth B, Rudy Van Winkler? The reason it's so low is because it's weakness early game and it's inconsistency. That's that's the reason. It has high potential, but weakness early is a big deal in FTL. A really big deal, because... As Bridnoth was alluding to earlier when he says he likes it better than whole Halberd Beam because of its early power, early game strength is one reason why Stealth B is so low on the tier list because of its early game weakness. It's just, it's so susceptible to dying early. All right, I'm going to buy a Mantis here. Even though he's a repair Mantis, I'm going to buy him. Power. And we're going to put you on... Oh, I, bought, I forgot I even bought this dude. Um... Doors, sensors here. You haven't played FTL, but what I know about it is it has a killer soundtrack. It has an amazing soundtrack. One of the reasons I still play the game. Every time you see the Dead Pirate Tuco, the name, the Dread Pirate Tuco, it makes you think of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Makes me think of the Dread Pirate Robert Roberts from uh, Princess Bride. Is there anything else I want here? I could buy another crew. Why do those weapons feel like an upgrade? Hey, there's that anti-bio beam that you can buy in stores. I'm sure somebody's going to say that on YouTube, so I'll just try to preempt them. It's common in roguelikes. You want to be able to snowball. Yeah, anti-bio beam is no longer sulking and once back on the ship. Too bad. Too bad, anti-bio beam. One, two, three, four, five. Should be able to do that, I think. Or I just dive it. Yeah, we might dive anyway. 
There was antibiobium, you thought previously it wasn't in stores. Yes, like three years ago, I swear, I am never living down that meme ever in my life. Never ever in my life will I ever ever live down that meme. I don't, I don't know why. It was literally one, maybe two episodes, I can't remember. I say episodes, but... One or two streams where I said that. I will never freaking live that down. You find anti-biobeam in stars, Kappa? I know, Kappa. Who would have ever heard of such a thing? There are two kinds of people in this world, Tuco. Those with loaded guns and those that dig. Okay. That was probably the first anti-biobeam ever sold in the store, Kappa. Makes you feel any better you just saw that video yesterday. Oh, I... I, I figured since you said that because every... I've said way more times than that that I know... <laughs> But it doesn't matter because I said it one time and that's all that everybody remembers, apparently. Um, one, two, three. So I, I dive at least twice if I take this store. I could, I could do that, but I don't think I need to, so. You must not have caught that it was years ago. Yeah, it was, it was at least a year or two ago that that. I said it one that one time. Uh, ben Prunty have made an amazing music for FTL for sure, and progressive music in game is great. Yes. See what you can offer me. Two fuel and fifty four scrap. I'll take that for free. The internet is forever. It's true. It's true. What's strange to me is just how long. Ooh. All right. We're maxed on crew. Uh, almost back on crew, is that I said it literally one time, and people make that joke even though there's been way more videos where I've countered that by saying I know <laughs> that it's weird to me that the joke is still around. Alright. A shield charge booster. Alright. Okay. We're taking this dive. I took the exit beacon because, again, even if you're gonna dive, if you have another jump, exit beacon, if it's not in the nebula, is still a thing where you can get a ship fight, a store, etc., etc. So, worth taking the jump. Is that a max repair mantis? Yes, I believe I actually have two repair mantis currently. Huh. Ions plus missiles. What a build, sir. He's, at least he doesn't have cloaking. Nice. Missile offline. You wish you could dodge boarding intruder drones with cloaking instead of just stopping them midair? That would be pretty cool, yeah. God, this guy's dodges are insane. Wow, I actually have no shields. Okay. Well, that's a deal. I'm not going to use it, but that's like over... That's close to a hundred scrap deal right there. Ben Prunty just makes amazing music in general. I haven't heard a lot of his other stuff, but I would... I would not doubt that that is true. Memes are for fun. They are not malicious. Oh, I know. I'm not actually mad. I'm just... Fuckklempt. Or... Uh, exasperated that it's still... It's still a thing. So, you see, this is me not being mad. This is me going, you know, me doing the me doing the uh, Captain Picard meme. People still making anti-bio beam jokes in 2020. There's my, there's my answer to that meme. Uh, do I get the fourth shield? Is this slightly better than Burst Laser 1? Slightly slower, but once we auto-fired, it's slightly better. I've heard some of his other stuff since it's in the mod now. Yes, but I mean some of... I, I'm assuming he's done music for other games, so that's what I was alluding to. I haven't heard his other game stuff. I don't know if he actually has. I would just assume he has. Yeah, Laser Charger's probably very slightly better than Burst Laser 1. Although that's probably arguable because... 
The first volley is the most important one, and the first volley is slightly faster. I don't know. Oh my god, those dodges. Jesus Christ, these dodges are insane. Okay, we should this should be a damageless fight. Uh, I thought I heard a fire, a missile fire. Did not mean the Engie to go in there. Oh my god, my I cannot micro. I'm sticking around because I can get a little bit extra score by killing this ship now. Now that we've basically won the fight. That was terrible. I meant to move my Rockmen here. I moved the NG and then didn't move those guys. That was, that was some pretty bad micro there. Yeah. Uh, ben Prunty made it to the Breach music. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't remember it nearly as well. You don't really like the game? I actually like the game a lot. I don't remember the music all that well, honestly. Uh, on Subnautica... Subnautina 2, just one song, but the best in the game. Oh, he made one song for Subnautica? I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I shot the missile down. Yeah. Alright. I mean, do I swap these out? I guess once I auto-fire, that's when it becomes slightly better, and we will probably eventually auto-fire it. So, I guess we'll do that. I hope we get one repair station. If we don't, it's not a huge deal. Okay. Do this before that goes off. Now we can auto fire. Here comes the big giant missile. Beautiful. Very nice. Being very careful about when I timed my cloak there because when you have Zoldan shield up, that's when you should not cloak because it'll block the missiles. We got the unicorn store. Nice. Laser only run, huh? Yeah, we got kind of a pew pew ship going. Oh, right as you say that, halberd beam. Okay. All right, can we make this halberd beam happen instead of charge lasers where we'd want it? What's the cost to get it online? 90? Oh my gosh, I have to go through. Okay, we're going one, two. Wow, this is a... The hell? What, did he start here? Oh my gosh, this might be the first time that I've seen it force you to go through the flagship's path to get to the base. What a weird setup. I think we can make this happen, though. Yeah, I only need four scraps. So, for now, we turn off heavy laser and go with this. And then I hope we get a decent amount of scrap from this. Okay, charge laser now gets two shots at the same time as burst laser two, correct. Yeah, I don't understand that question either. Oh, that's probably a little early. Oh, yeah, uh, ch charge time 12 seconds, yes. To get its first volley off... Yeah, 12 seconds for burst laser 2, 12 seconds for the charge laser 1. Charge laser 1 is about the same level of power as burst laser 1, which is to say, pretty mediocre, honestly. <sighs> God, this sucks, man. What a terrible sector. I'm going to get very little scrap from this sector. 
Ben Prunty works on Celeste songs and is participant of the dynamic of the game. I think as a gamer inside to work with the good vibes of a song and games. Yeah, he does a great job with that. Yes, burst laser is 11 seconds. I know. Just one second shorter. Still extremely, extremely mediocre. Extremely mediocre, which is probably an oxymoron. Um, I'm honestly debating if I get the heavy laser back online because that, that's two power I'm missing right now. I want to have my engines fully online. Uh, heavy laser is good enough. I think that it is worth doing this. We're going to have to do some microing with power, which I hate to do against the boss. But I think this is worth... I think this is worth doing. I think the micro is worth... Okay. Well, we're doing phase one before I want to. I mean, I could go one, two, three, but then... I gotta dive before the boss fight. I do get more scrap, though. But it's a potential double dive before the boss. Extremely mediocre, McDonald's new slogan. <laughs> nice. One ship fight probably gives me the two power that I'm missing. One... Two, three, one, two, three, four. I get there one jump late. This gets taken over. It's a double dive. I get one jump before the flagship. No, I don't. If I go here, he gets there at the same time. And we fight each other. Yeah, I could go here, but that's not a guaranteed ship fight. If I'm gonna if I'm not gonna fight the boss now, I go here. If I go here, it's an empty jump, it was just a waste. I would go one, two, three, which is what I'm thinking about doing. I'm doing this. We're strong enough that I can I can survive a dive. I'd probably even be okay with a double dive, honestly. This is this is another one where you don't have enough time. Stupid FTL. So this, this Sector 8 basically forced me on a route where I couldn't get to the base before fighting the boss and had two jumps that were guaranteed ship fights, but were the ship fights that gave me less than half the scrap that I should get. Screw you, FDL. If either one of those jumps was just a regular fight, I could have gotten the two, the two power I'm missing. I can only get one right now. Whataburger already has the aggressively mediocre as a slogan. Does it does it actually have that? Ah, <sighs> one, two, three. I could go here, but then I get to the base so late. I don't think I do that. I'm gonna just hope we get something here. I'm not too bad for a win. No, I'm really strong. I just wish I hadn't been screwed by the um RNG of this final sector quite so much. Damn it, I missed the weapon hit there. Smash this run, I cannot see you struggling here. Don't say that. <laughs> We've already discussed about your, how you're never safe in FTL. There are never any guarantees. We are really strong. I could totally miss micro something, get some stupid bad RNG where I get three hit by boss missile that starts fire piloting weapons and shields. There is always potential for a disaster in FTL. You are never safe. You can never sit on your laurels, as one might say. Run out of drone parts because everyone gets shot down in phase two from bad luck and my miss micro. There are no guarantees. Very 
for your friend. Hope this cloak lasts long enough. Perfect. Follow him around. Alright, good dive. Nice clean dive there. <clears throat> I'll wait for everything to come back online, get it ready in place, and we are ready for the boss here. Um, failure is always an option, it's just not a preferred one. It's true. The ship has great weapons, Flak 1 Halberd, Charge 3, Dual Laser. Uh, I'm talking about the, the enemy we just fought? Okay, so we can't hack till it gets to Mazultan Shield. Uh, we don't have a lot of ways to get crew kills here unless we get a good, a lucky fire in the, in the shields. But this is not really a ship. A build where I'm going for a bunch of crew kills on phase one. If we get some, that's great. If not, we're not forcing it. Keep them from doing, from repairing the piloting. Hack clone bay. That's a great hack. Damn. Well, there were two guys that almost died. We did too much damage. Rand is the beauty. Is Rand? It is the beauty of a roguelike. Never think you have an automatic win in your hand, right? Nice clean dive. Row of judges with tablets of ten raised. <laughs> that was a double half gainer with a twisted joiner at the end. I I don't know the names of dives. All right, let's do that. We have all our value points, and then maybe we'll get level two sensors. All right. Looking good, man. Looking good. All right, zero damage phase one. But you know, like Han Solo said, you never get cocky, kid. Don't get cocky. And we cannot cloak the missile here. We're basically guaranteed to take damage here. I was a little late on that. All right, we did get one crew kill there. That's good. Oh! The drones actually got through. 45% dodge, four shields. The drones still got through, man. Home hack on enemy defenders is hilariously sadistic. You mean medbay hack? Yes, medbay hack is very good. I mean, get them to fight in the medbay. Isn't medbay better? Are you talking about medbay hack? Yes, I think I think that's what Secret Agent meant. Was medbay, not clone bay. Clone bay hack just stops him from cloning. Not that good. Could get an extra power. Sensors is basically worthless. But with how strong you are, we will we will do this. It's not swag sensors, pie boy, but it is level two sensors. I got as close as we ever do. That's basically a worthless upgrade, but we don't really need anything else. So as long as we don't get too completely wrecked here. All right, so we are going to counter the mind control. We are going to plan on doing the get boarded and run away strategy. That's the plan. And hope things don't go crazy. Huh, he's got fewer crew than I thought. Only four crew left? It's pretty crazy. Okay, cannot cloak this. Triple hit. We'll slow on this. Perfect timing there. Alright, this looks like we shouldn't need to run unless things go really badly. But this is looking looking good. Oh, they just screwed my shields up. Okay. That is looking like a GG, my friends. Come on, Halberd Beam. Cloak! And... 
Bam, GG cookie time. Two slug A wins in a row. Very nice. That was a very nice run. The early burst laser one actually carried us a long way in that run. You gotta go early, Thumper Dink. You'll catch the rest on YouTube. All right, well, we'll see you later. Hey, what's up, Scottish Pingo? You made it in time for the last phase. Perfect timing. That was a really good run. Um, our weapons weren't really good until end of the game, but they were good enough when we got our systems early on that that made for a really good run. Let's check the score. 56-74. Pretty darn nice. Third highest slug A run we've had so far. GG with a mini pizza. <laughs> nice Duminium. You're gonna have you're gonna head out too. All right, Alvin. Have a great night, my friend. So that is two wins in a row in slug A. I don't know. I might. I'm thinking I might have to raise the slug A on my tier list. Um, the starting dual lasers and a good amount of stuff to sell. And the fact that it's got room for all three OP systems. I guess we'll see as we go up the tier list if the other ones feel stronger. But that was a really clean run. That felt really good. So. That is a two in a row with the Slug A. So really quickly, my friends. I'm just Sam Stretch. Use the restroom. And uh, take my first break of the day. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you were enjoying the FTL. The hard mode, no pause, tier streak challenge. No salt yet, but you know. You never know. We had that shield hack in Sector 1 on our second fight where they had double beam weapons, and I thought our tier was our, our streak was over. That would have sucked. But a quick 60-second worth of ads. Worth of ads. When we come back, we'll do another one, see if the Slug A will keep on trucking. Y'all rock. Be back in a bit, my friends.